So if I remember correctly, stage one is fairly easy. What is the gas is for? Is she shooting gas at me? <laughs> got, got her! Alright, what you got? Galena and Lise. They're both dead. I can't turn back now! The Red Soul can't die here! You can't erase it! Blood Purge! The Blood Purge! We will create a new world! A new generation! The blood must be purified! Yo, was that Lisa's dead body in like amulet form there? It was Dragonfly! That's the true self you worked so hard to find. I'm sorry, Lena. I gave you far more credit than I ever should have. The Clarksons have always been the chosen ones. Proud souls. Divine life-given form. But at some point, that blood became tainted. So I decided to reset it. I need to purify this corrupt blood for the one I love most. After I left home, I met the Red Soul and acquired a guide. And so I created the Red Powder and became an apostle for the Red Magic. The Red Powder transforms the body from within. It creates empowered souls. And mature souls are the greatest offering one can present to the goddess. Lys and Galena didn't lose their minds. They both died with honor. Died with honor? Just how deluded are you? Dismembered them and strung up their bodies Easy in the there, name of vapid symbolism. Where's the honor in that? So what if they said they wanted to die? Cultists have been saying that for centuries. Silence! You will impede us no longer. You're always so smug. Oh, We've interacted well, in, it, depending this on how you count the ghost we'll conversations, we my plan. met twice. Oh, die! The, having a dragonfly design is really cool. It is strange, I mean, she said she wanted to reset the bloodline, um, but it is strange that like a big part of her character is running away from home as a Clarkson, and now she is epitomizing the um, Clarkson insignia. That was cool. I correctly guessed that she would be fire-based. I like that. <laughs> fire and brimstone! Fire and brimstone. That's pretty great. Um, little bit bummer that she turned... Well, I mean, she knew we knew she was present at the very first. Um, I keep forgetting I can jump around, right? Yeah. know what happened to the attack there. Um, I guess we knew that she was up to no good from the beginning because she was at the very first murder, but um, I'm kind of bummed that this is happening so soon. It seems like I think there was a lot of cool stuff that could be done with this character, and I am sad that I mean, I'm assuming she's going to die in the scene after this, just like Galena, but or Galena, but we'll see. Oh, easy there. Okay, headshots do count, but also I don't think it's really worth it. Aha! Wait, no, I still got hurt by that. I don't know how to avoid that. Ow! What? Oh, the fire's there. Man, this is just like Calamity again. Oh, 
Guess what? I have an inventory full of small first aid kits. I'll be fine. This can't be happening. I'm supposed to be invincible. Purification! Be careful here. Ow, ow. Okay. I believe. Yeah! Disaster aversion bonus! Oh, I took a lot of damage there. But I got 85 bucks for it, too, so. Or maybe 850? No. I, I wasn't looking too closely. How could I lose? So that was a bad Such idea, but I did it. No one can stop my plan. Now. Not even me. Red Tree! Yeah, I'm hurt pretty bad. Let's let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, use a first aid kit for that. Yeah, that was a bad idea. But let's also take a little look around the arena. Good coffee. This is what I wanted. I guess they kind of have to make every boss punchable to some extent in case you literally run out of ammo, right? Although I guess for the cocoon you don't really have much option, how many options there. Although with the cocoon you can get more ammo from the other enemies potentially. I don't know. We didn't run out of ammo, we just chose to punch her to death. Or maybe not to death, because Galena didn't die either. Okay, well... He's still alive. Sounds like not by much, though. Lena, let go. I'm going to count to three, then you're going to get down on the ground and put your hands behind your head. Got it? See this? If I let go, the bomb in the fireplace will explode. Do something smart for once, Lena. Detonating that bomb won't solve anything. You're wrong, Agent Morgan. It'll give me the ending I've always dreamed of. Lena. You're wrong. Kill me. We'll bring back our family's prosperity. No! I know I'm right! You never change. Once you make up your mind that single idea possesses you, it's almost like you're cursing yourself. Mama always holding on to all your pain. No! You're the one who's wrong! <sighs> When you first told me about the disparity between Are they gonna try and run a redemption arc for PJ in the next two minutes? I, I don't like the music happening here. I love you. Stop it! I don't want to hear this! Especially because he did just but use I, her dead name. I always knew. From the very 
Stop talking! There was something special inside you. I also know. Whoa, you whoa, whoa! In a call with your old sister. Whoa! Your own flesh and blood. What? Shut up! Why? I just. Sweary, why'd you have to put that in there? No, that, okay. <laughs> that's left behind can rebuild the Clarkson's legacy. Is that the goddess of fertility? Go and see her. Can someone please eyes. explain to me what this Your is? FBI special agent. Surely you can find her. No one can stop my plan now. Not even me. No, stop! Patricia. Clarkson. Wait, the table is fine, the chairs are just knocked over, but the bodies have gibbed? That's not how that works. You can't have a body 10 feet away from the explosion be like vaporized and then a body that's 20 feet away from the explosion just get knocked to the ground but still be fine. Oh, wow. That's some Thomas levels of desecration of the corpse there sweary doesn't ju yeah no it didn't go great oh, pa! oh my god you showed up at a bad time <laughs> that's great I don't there's a lot of problems I had with the previous scene but Hoongon showing up in a puddle of blood is effing rad what is it Patty Where's Melvin? Well, I don't know. He won't answer me, and he ain't at the sheriff's office either. What should I do? You think he got caught up in some kind of trouble? No. <laughs> the subtitles say no. losing his mind. Oh, shit! I got nothing to do. Oh, oh. Oh. I can't. I can't. Patty, I need someone at the Clarkson's house ASAP. I don't care who you send. They can also ask Daniel Clarkson about the details once they get here. He'll be able to handle it. Also I gotta get out of here. Just in case. Got it? Huh? Uh, sure. I'm going to head straight over to the sheriff's office, Patty. Let's meet up there. So, yeah, I would... Hmm... That scene feels like it would have been the old version. It's not like to the point necessary. Again, this is I'm a, I'm a cis het white dude saying this, so I'm not the best judge. That scene wasn't like god awful, but it, there were a, there was a lot of things in there that weren't great. I swear he just threw some incest in there for no reason. I don't know why that was there aside from like. I guess maybe it's supposed to be commentary on, like, rich white families in the South? 
but that, I feel like that line didn't need to be there at all. Um, having PJ use Lena's dead name and then also in the exact same conversation be like, I always loved you and I care about you. Um, felt very off. Um, it, it, I would have been fine if like the whole apology was portrayed as disingenuous and PJ is just trying to not die. But it felt like it was trying to be genuine and because of that I actually really didn't like it at all. Um, I Again, I'm sad that Lena descended into like pure villainy so quickly as opposed to just kind of the dark mysterious character. Um, like she, she feels like the Carol of this game. But you don't find out that Carol is really working directly for the bad guys in Deadly Premonition 1 until like the very end. It's post George boss fight, if I remember correctly. Um, so, like, I'm sad that happened so soon because Lena seemed like a really cool character. Um, but yeah, there was a lot there that was really weird. I am curious if that's the scene that was changed, what it got changed from, because there was. I I I do have to agree, there was still a lot in that scene that was like oof. Ooh, I don't know about that, Swery. Um, I, yeah. Yeah, those are most of my thoughts. I don't have a lot of act of thoughts in addition to that. Um, that was... I was enjoying Lena's character a lot, and that last scene was not the best way to end her character. I'll say that. that, that I, I won't say much more than that. I don't know what else more to say, but... Yeah, that was a little bit of a bummer. Um, that being said, we now have confirmation. We in the Zach seg in the Aaliyah and Zach segments, we have heard Patty referred to as Patricia Clarkson. But like there is still the implication of, oh, maybe she married into the family, like that was a possibility. This is the first confirmation we've gotten that no, in two thousand five, Patricia Clarkson is a thing that needs to be addressed. Um which yeah, I, I am I am now going full in on the theory that her mom is uh, the uh, the that other daughter that ran away. Let's come back during the business. Okay, York, let's do that. Let's do that, York. Let's wait, wait. We might if we get to the where's the pineapple? Is it the two hundred forty five away one? I think it is. If we get if we get there fast enough, if we, I didn't use, I didn't mean to mark on that, but if we get there fast enough. I forget the hours, but we might be able to fix our shower head, so let's hurry up and get there quick so that we can get so maybe to fix the shower. Hey, you can get the shower fixed. You can, can get there quick. You get to get the shower. We get, you can want to take a shower. Let me see what this is. See what the shower from 22 to 24. Cons, where's the concierge? God, I only have 20 minutes. Let me talk to the cons, cons, concierge. Good. Yeah, yeah, he's already at the desk. Talk to the David. Mr. Morgan, sir. How may I serve you today? Good day, sir. I assume you're enjoying the esteemed water pressure of our hotel. I am not! Unfortunately, it seems like the shower in my room is broken. I'm deeply sorry to hear that, Mr. Morgan. I'll call a specialist and have this matter sorted immediately. How long will it take them to get here? Well, I'm certain they'll be here by next week. Next week? Yes, sir, by next week without a doubt. Our hotel was built over 200 years ago, in a very classical way, I might add. Therefore, any manner of repairs or adjustments will require an elite type of specialist. A very elite. So, I have to wait until next week for you to repair my shower? Indeed, sir. Can't you just put me in a different room? All rooms in our hotel share the same source of water. Are there any other hotels in town? Our hotel is the only one in the car capable of affording you a comfortable stay, sir. But if you're in a bit of a hurry, you might be able to adjust the water valve on the third floor next to the kitchen. Please, let me know if there's anything I may do to be of service, Mr. Morgan, sir. He wants me to adjust the water valve on the third floor on my own? Zack, is this a nightmare? 
Making progress. I bet we're gonna have to, I, you know what I bet it is? We should do this fast, because I bet we're gonna have to adjust the water pressure, check our shower, it won't work, and then we have to find the valve on the second floor, and then the one on the first floor. I'm calling it now, it's exactly what it's gonna be. So we have to take care of this fast, because we're gonna have to take, I mean, we're gonna have to look at this shower valve, check our shower, go talk to David again, then he'll tell us to go to the second floor, do the entire process again, go back to the first floor, and then our shower will be fixed. That should do it. There's so many pipes that I'm not sure which is the right one to touch, but I'm not about to let that stop me. And I doubt that any hotel guest would ever complain about the shower pressure being too strong. I bet some guests would. I wouldn't. I do actually, I'm with York that high shower pressure is the bomb, but... Zach, we're still missing some puzzle pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can still do it. We can still do it until it turns midnight. We still have time. There's still time. We just can't let it get to midnight. We had talked to David, he's gonna tell us to look on the second floor, and we're gonna look on the second floor, and then he's gonna tell us to go look on the first floor, and it's gonna be the first floor. Let's talk. I'm deeply sorry, except for the shower specialist won't arrive here until next week. I already tried to adjust the water valve on the third floor. And that failed to fix the shower. Exactly, that's why I'm here talking to you right now. Unfortunately, I am but a mere concierge. All I can do now is to wait for the specialist to arrive. Or perhaps... The chef for the bellboy can help you think of an alternative solution. Dang it. Well, that's alright, we gotta sleep anyways, because, uh, gotta wait for the sheriff's department to open up. I like how York can't talk to any other cops and be like, hey... Um, there are now multiple dead bodies, possibly more than two because the henchmen were around. Um, knocked out, I think. I don't know if they were dead yet, but they were also in the explosion. Um, we're, we're filling out the board pretty quick. I, I would have expected, like, five chapters to this game. That was my guess, but I feel like we're only on chapter two or three. We're about to start chapter three, I would have, is how I would divide it. I don't know if that's the terminology. But, like, a boss per chapter and a check-in with Zack, I feel like, is the the thing. But it seems like most of the board is filled out. Maybe some of the corners. This seems like there's a, there should be a couple more here. But we got a board here. Where is Lena? Okay. All right. Let's wake up at nine o'clock. And we're definitely gonna switch clothes afterwards. Yep, bet we're hungry. Actually, it's as good as new. It's fine. Yeah. Um, I wish there were more suits. There, there are very few stores in this town, all things considered. There's not even a grocery store. What is this? I thought this was supposed to be Deadly Premonition, Swery. Alright, so we need to talk to the chef anyways, because we need some food. Oh, he's bellboy mode right now. And as for, you can't get to make soup. Get our nice little York boy a smile. Thanks, Miss. Next time you get a hankering for old time Creole food, just stop on by. Will do. I suppose I can't talk to you now, so let's go talk to the bellboy. And I bet he'll tell us to look on the shower valve on the second floor. Hey there, boss.
boss, what you need? You name it, I got it. Hey, how are you enjoying the shower pressure, boss? Sadly, I can't enjoy it. Get out of here, it ain't working. The shower won't even give me water, let alone hot water. Well, that ain't right. But boss, you better remember now I'm just a measly little bellboy. In times like this, we gotta wait for that concierge of ours to... Ah... Uh, what? Did you get an idea? No, I just uh, remembered something that happened like... I... I just uh, remembered that something like this happened a while back too. And it was all due to a problem with the water valve in the corner of the hall on the second floor. I think some numbskull tightened it too much because they were worried about water leaking out. Actually, uh, just forget that whole thing, okay, boss? Waiting until waiting for the concierge is the best thing to do in times like these. Will you believe you me? Someone tighten the water valve in the hallway on the second floor? Get ready to flex some muscle, Zach. I just want to stop buying perfume. The perfume doesn't get make the smell go away; it just covers it in another bad smell. There is good smelling perfume, but. I feel like the one option of perfume I get... Well, it's $17. I guess maybe it's high quality. Just as David said, the valve seems to have been over tightened. But we're good to go now. I made sure to loosen it quite a bit. Yeah, I bet it'll work this time, Z uh, York. It's just flat out not working. Do I need to talk to the bell boy again? Concierge got that shower fixed eventually, boss. You know, I already went and adjusted the water valve you told me about, and I did it all by myself, too. Jeez. Come on, upstairs neighbor. What are you doing? But the shower still won't give me any hot water. You've got to be kidding me. You'll just have to try asking the chef at the concierge for further help, then. I hate to say it, boss, but my hands are tied. Sorry. Why is it listed like six? Okay, so six in the morning to eight thirty. <sighs> I would really like to get this shower fixed. Let's sleep for another two hours. I want to get it done. I I know there's a murder investigation we're putting on hold, but that's what Deadly Premonition is. It's putting the murder investigation on hold for wacky side quests. This is what how it was meant to be. I'm not even hungry. Man, I'm gonna make chicken Alfredo for the first time once I'm done playing. I made Alfredo, but I've never... Chicken scares me because of the salmonella. So I don't actually make chicken that often. I also just tend to not really like chicken that much um, in comparison to like pork and beef. But um... Hungry, mister? I'm trying chicken because I had Alfredo without chicken and I was like, this is good, but it needs some chicken. So, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Anyways, hey mister, how do you like our water shower pressure? Just what the doctor ordered, isn't it? It appears that my shower in my room is broken, so there's currently no way for me to sample the water pressure that you seem to be so proud of. Hmm, is that so? I'm a chef, so anything other than food's outside my jurisdiction. You're a true pro after all, but... I may be able to give you a hint that'll help you fix this problem of yours. Meaning, might be something's wrong with the water valve near the bathroom on the first floor. That damn bellboy's supposed to be checking up on it, although he never falls through. I see. Well then, can you help him fix the valve? No can do, Mr. FBI. I'm a pro chef, which means I ain't, <laughs> I ain't gonna do jack squat outside of cooking good, genuine food. Then what should I do? You're an FBI agent, aren't you? Fixing up a valve should be a piece of cake to a fellow like you. 
Zach, it looks like we'll need to masquerade as plumbers for a bit if we wish to enjoy a good shower here. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> 